The River Mersey is the lifeblood of this corner of England and lends its name to the conurbation that has grown up around it. Merseyside. Its heart is Liverpool. For almost 300 years, Liverpool has been connected to the entire world through trade and shipping. Where once they birthed ships, now the docks are home to brash new business and leisure developments. But 40 years ago, it was a very different story. Through the dock gates, thousands of dock workers are arriving. In port, there are nearly 90 ships waiting to be loaded or unloaded. Every day, 15 or 20 ships arrive with cargoes we need. Every day, 15 or 20 other ships sail, taking away the things other countries need from us. This is one of Britain's doorways to and from the rest of the world. Those same quays are mostly deserted today. But it's not just the ships that have gone. Being a docker was a way of life for people like Mike Cullen. For 30 years he came down to the waterfront, a workplace that's now a ruin. This place looks as if it was abandoned 100 years ago. Well, it is desolation, but it's not. This was a working dock up to a few years ago, although you wouldn't think so. But it looks like a lot more than 20 years has passed here. <laughs> Anything gets left, soon gets overrun, doesn't it? It's sad when you, you know, you've lived in Liverpool all your life and you've seen what the docks used to be and what they are now. Some key landmarks have been saved. But what's lost completely is the way of life. In the early 1960s, Colin Jones visited Liverpool docks for the Observer to capture the dockers' working lives. When did you take these photographs. In the winter of 1963, I came up here. Because if you showed me this and asked me when I thought it had been taken, I would say the 1930s or even earlier. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? We were doing a thing on the recession, which in 62, 61 was terrible here, you know, unemployment. And uh, the recession was beginning to bite, you know. What age is this guy when you took the picture? Well, it? it's difficult to say, but I think he must be between 30 and 34. They always look. Much older. Like yeah, 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 sad. He died not long after the pictures were taken. And, and this one again, I mean, yeah, you yeah. know, it looks like a photograph taken from the Depression in the 1920s or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But when you were here, this place was busy and there were thousands oh, of men. Yeah. And to look at it now, where it's, it's, it's dead. It's like, as if, it's like as if the atomic bomb has happened. You know? There's just a few crazy things left, like the clock and these amazing buildings. <laughs> Colin's photographs bring home the gritty reality of the docker's world. Mike still remembers his first day on the job. That was the first day, it was a bit of a culture shock. You wasn't guaranteed a day's pay, you had to turn up at a place called a pen to get hired. And you got a tap on the shoulder, you give your book and you were hired for the day, uh -huh. you got a day's pay. If you didn't get a tap on the shoulder, you didn't get hired. But you got your book stamp to put AP on your book, so attendance proven. Uh -huh. So you'd get a nominal payment for that. When you talk about you know turning up and maybe getting work, maybe not, was it a case of who you were, whether your face fitted, who your dad was? Oh, well, there was obviously bosses there who had the favourites. You know, if you were one of his favourites, then you got the top on the shoulder and you got a job. And so the guys bringing up families on that kind of he was, circumstance. Yeah. It wasn't too bad for lads who were single or lads like myself who just got married and had no children. But anyone trying to bring up a, you know a family on it, it was horrendous way of working. Loading and unloading ships by hand was arduous and dangerous. It was all done under the careful supervision of the stevedores. It was his job to stow the cargo in such a way that it was going to be safe when it went to sea and under the cargo moved. So was the work of a stevedore more of an art, more of a skill? Yeah, it was a skill, yeah. He got like a shiller an hour extra right. for being stevedore. The skills of the dockers and stevedores put them in a position of power 
controlling the imports and exports that kept the country moving. It was a power that their unions weren't afraid to exploit. But the shipping companies had an ace up their sleeve, a trump card which would consign the Dockers' way of life to history. And the end came packaged like this. The simple metal box that changed the world, the container. Once container ships entered shipping lanes around the globe, the lives of the Dockers would never be the same. As the old ways vanished, the new docks built to embrace container ship technology thrived. With containers and other cargo, the port of Liverpool is now busier than ever, but with a fraction of the workforce. The future of Liverpool as a port and a city looks assured. But that success was built on the backs of its dockers.